welcome to the first class of marketing management in the first class we are going to discuss about the core concepts of marketing first we need to define what is marketing marketing is the societal process by which individuals and groups obtain what they need and want through creating offering and freely exchanging products and services of value with others so we'll discuss it in parts first is marketing is a societal process why it is societal because uh, it is linked with the society whatever inputs we take is from society what whatever outputs we give it is for the society so basically marketing is dependent on the society then uh, by which individuals and groups obtain because the customer can be an individual or it can be a group obtain what they need and want what is their requirement and how they get it through creating first that product is created then that is offered and then that product is freely exchanged it could be a product or it could be a service and the last and most important thing is it should be of some value to others it means whatever exchange process is going on both the parties are exchanging something of value to the others as buyers are getting the product because that is valuable to them and the seller is getting cash or money which is valuable to them so this is the definition of marketing next when we associate word management with marketing so basically management we know it is a systematic process by which we do various tasks so similarly when we do marketing in a systematic manner that becomes marketing management so we can say marketing management is the art and science why it is art because uh, everybody every manager has different managing skills then it is science why it is science because it include a systematic process through which various steps like planning organizing directing controlling all these activities are done so it is art as well as science of what first choosing target markets because this is the first step each marketer has to choose their target market where they are targeting their products and getting keeping and growing customer the first thing is in those targeted market uh, market they have to first attract the customers they have to retain them and they have to grow their customer base also and how that will uh, will be done through creating first the product will be created then they will be delivered and communicating superior customer value this is again very important because superior customer value means the value which is better than others others who the competitors it means we are providing something better than our competitor some more value some superior value to the customer and that has to be communicated to the customer that we are providing you better products which are not given by uh, the competitors so this is the definition of marketing management now this is a simple marketing system where uh, there are sellers and when there are uh, there are buyers industry is the collection of sellers and market is the collection of buyers so what industry do they produce goods and services for the buyers the market and in return they get money from the buyers and communication is both ways the product related information price related information is communicated to the buyer from the seller and in the backward direction the information related to their customer satisfaction their feedback their grievances everything is passed back to the sellers so this is simple marketing system now the scope uh, of marketing it include various aspects first we can say goods we all know the tangible products various kinds of tangible products are available in the market then are the services services are intangible like doctors lawyers right then persons marketing of persons whenever the name of a person or a name of a famous personality is marketed that is the marketing of an individual so that is again the scope of marketing like one of the example is here then is experiences yes experiences are also marketed through consulting firms right consulting firms they charge for their services and what they sell they sell their experience then is the property we see various property ads daily in the newspapers so these are again the part of marketing 
then ideas are also sold through various kinds of books then events are also sold this is the best example right we have uh, seen various ads of ipl right so what they are doing they are marketing an event then is the organization as a whole when we market the name of the organization and not of a particular product that is the marketing of organization like this is an ad for reliance group we care for your comfort and safety then is the uh, marketing of place all the tourism companies or when government is promoting tourism they are marketing place this is one of the ad of kerala tourism where they are promoting the tourism of kerala and finally the information yes information is also sold uh, through various uh, data research organizations say so they charge for that so this is how uh, various kinds of activities are included in the scope of marketing in the next uh, presentation or in the next class we will discuss about various core concepts of marketing till then have a nice day